and kitchen technology was about to take on its greatest challenge yet. But there was one chore that every housewife still dreaded. Wash day. Every week, all cooking would grind to a halt. The kitchen became filled with steam, nasty chemicals and fearsome instruments of torture, like the mangle used for wringing clothes dry. this. My neighbour, Sheila Roberts, remembers it only too well. When you put your soap on, just dip it in like that and really rub the two pieces of cloth together. So what was wash day actually like? To me, personally, yeah. horrible. I used to hate washing, but I used to cheat. I used to put my washing in soap the night before, so it loosened everything off. Would you do it every week, washing, or...? Well, if you had children, you'd do it every other day. That's a huge amount of time. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, you pick up your washboard, and the trick I used, I used to put soap actually on the washboard before I did the, the shirt. OK. Is that good? Keep going. Now you pick up your shirt, you do the, the whole shirt. Okay. That's it. Oh. Rub really hard. She had a house of two kids, two adults. It's a lot you of clothes. You've heard that expression, a woman's work is never done. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> it to wash it. <laughs> Life was about fitting things in. When the babies were asleep, you do your hoovering or your washing. When they were playing on the floor, you'd, you'd get your pay your meals. It was all a question of timing. Otherwise, you'd have no time or life to yourself if you didn't. Yeah. So you had to be very precise about planning well, the was. work you did. I did, yeah. yes. So it was like uh, a small factory. Exactly, mm. yeah. Okay. So that's the scrubbing done. It's taking me half an hour to do just six shirts but at least I didn't have half a dozen dirty nappies as well. And after a thorough rinse, it's out. on to the mangle. Oh. See, you need some muscles for a wash day, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. cool. yeah. well, this feels like very physical, hard work. Did it, it was. Did you get tired? Mm, yeah. You really knew you'd been working on washing day. Isn't this the bit that you might have got your husband to do? Oh, no, no, no. They were having a cup of tea or listening to the radio, and um, women were there to, to look after the men and the children, to cook and clean. It's just something that you were brought up to do. Can I just turn the hand? No, go on, yes, go on, please, please. <laughs> the quicker you go, the easier it is. Oh, OK, there you go. <laughs> I was making a bit of a meal of that, wasn't I? What really changed Laundry Day was the arrival of the washing machine. Hello? Delivery for Mr Walker. Ooh! Bring it in. This is a twin tub. The Rolls Royce of the kitchen. The first electric washing machines had appeared in the 30s, but ones like this promised to wash and spin dry in minutes. My neighbour, Sheila, has offered to show me how it works. Yeah, I've hooked that in there to start with. OK. That's when you're filling. It's a little bit tricky, and you have to plumb it in each time. That's my dirty clothes, please, Sheila. Will do. I've got some nappies for you as well. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> That's what we used to do. In with my shirts? Yes. Don't forget, they're going to be boiled. Twin tubs were eye-wateringly expensive. At £95, this one cost as much as a small car. But women felt they were worth every penny. Can you remember getting your first washing machine? Oh, yes. yes, yes, yes. We won some money on the football pools, about £500. And I brought a twin tub, a refrigerator, and a three-piece suite. Wow. I mean, it's so, obviously so expensive, you needed to have a windfall to actually be able to afford these things. We did, yes. Yeah. So how do I turn it on now? That's the heater. OK. And that's the timer. <laughs> Working. God, that's just amazing. How excited must you have been to switch this on for the first time? I just felt like chains had been lifted, you know, I could walk away and do something else and then come back and the washing would be complete. So it, <laughs> it really was 
Hard to describe. The washing machine was the household must-have of the decade. Well, for women, their husbands didn't always see it that way. I don't think there was much discussion about it. It was just a case of nudging and elbowing till he gave in. But there was no feminism, you know. There was, well, basically, you could, you could wheedle and manipulate or you could have a row. <laughs> that was about it. The kitchen became a place where you could show off to your friends and became a matter of keeping up with the Joneses. I, mean, I think one of the advantages of being a man then and not now was that actually you did provide for your wife. You could show off that you provided for your wife and this was sort of part of what you... very important part of what you did. That's about it. Yep. Oh, it feels quite dry. Yeah. Check the collar, the cuffs. It's quite Clean. white, isn't it? Quite pleased with that. Well, that's a lot drier than having been through the mangle earlier. Definitely, yes. Ten minutes on the line. No ironing. <laughs> now you're talking my kind of language, Sheila. I mean, with all these new gadgets coming into the kitchen, did it liberate you? Did you have more time to do other things? You weren't so tired. Um, you had more energy to do other things and um, more time for you, me. Yes. At the end of the day, the washing machine delivered more than just a faster wash. It was one of the appliances that introduced women to a new concept, leisure time. Technology was changing the home, but this idea would change the families inside them.